Hey, hey, y'all. I'm back. Um, yeah. Uh, we're going to make a charcoal clay soap. No fragrance, no essential oil. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, this is one of my favorite soaps. But my daughter wants something for her face, so... Because I have super sensitive skin. Yeah, she's like me. She's got super sensitive skin. And, yeah, I'm going to actually use it myself, too. But... Disclaimer. This is not... This is just soap, guys. Soap. That's it. It cleans. Okay. First off, we will get out our butters and harder oils. Let's turn the scale on. Now, I do it in ounces. I can give it to you in grams, too, as I do it. Um... First off is the coconut. I need 16.8 ounces. If I can get it open. What are you doing with the cat toys? I'm playing with the cat. Are you sure you ain't playing with the cat toys? No, I'm playing with the cat. The cat right. is a dog, so I'm playing with the cat. That cat is more or less a dog. She fetches and everything else. I know, she's big. She <laughs> can pick up the ball and like bam near started attacking me. Yep. That'd be Miss Press. Oops, shit. gloves, Tina, gloves. My bad, y'all. Don't do what I just did. Learn from my mistakes. We just talked about that, too. Yeah, I know. We just talked about that. That's why I forgot them. Literally, right before you first play. Yep. Always wear gloves, goggles, mask. A mask. When you mess with the lie, you don't want to breathe it in. Long sleeve. Me, I can't wear a mask because I can't breathe. Um, just getting over pneumonia. So yeah. That's that. Okay. It's 11.2. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen No, 16.8. Now I can pick up what I had on the floor and throw it away. And like always, I'm making a mess. Put that back there for now. Wipe my hands off. Okay. Now the... That's coconut. The mango butter is 2.88. Love my mango butter. Very good for the skin. Everything in this is great for the skin. Um, you can Google it. 2.8. Damn, that was good. Right on the nose. First time around. Get no better than that. Okay. Sorry guys, got a little arranging here. Um, tear that out. Then I need 2.4 ounces of shea butter. Now I got my shea butter in a big box, so I just broke it down into some of my five pound tubs and this is what was left it couldn't fit in my tub so yeah I'm just gonna break it up with my hand I need 
2.4. What are you two doing? You're not. You're fine. 2.5 mm -hmm. 2.4 Don't forget to give her her medicine at 10, Donnie. You guys get your things done? No. We've both been sick. We've been in bed the last few days. Okay, got the shea butter, got the mango, got the coconut. Okay, that's all of those. Tear that out. Put this over here. Now we're going to measure out our liquid oils. And I have... I'm using rice bran today. 14.5. Four ounces and this is the kind of good I get it from Amazon it's all natural non GMO 100% pure and we need what I say guys 14.4 14.4. God, I'm getting good. And I ain't made soap in Jesus forever. Okay, then we need grapeseed oil. 4.8. Now, grapeseed oil is good for a lot of things. Um, I mean a lot of things. It's also good to cook with. 4.8. Oops, tear it out, Tina. Okay, this is non-GMO, plant-based, 100% pure grapeseed oil, and it's this right here. Got that from Amazon as well, of course. Okay, now the castor oil. I got this from Crafter's Choice. Tear that out. 1.92 That helps with the bubbles This is also good for the skin You can google everything I'm using and figure out what it's good for Okay, then the sunflower oil. That's 4.8. Tear it out. It's all natural. Expeller pressed. And it's this here, which also comes from, I guess, Amazon. Where are you going? This is 4.8. Now this is a lighter oil. Which I like using for like facial soaps and whatnot. Even though it's just soap guys. Once again disclaimer. This is just soap. It cleans your body. Okay, castor, cocoa, grape seed mango, rice bran, sunflower, shea. Okay, now that we got those out of the way, 
we are going to mix up our lye because I'm going to do the heat transfer method. Um, actually first we're going to add and here I've got colloidal oatmeal I use one tablespoon per pound and then kaolin clay I've got two tablespoons this is a three pound batch and just whiz this up real quick Plug it in. And I might as well also mix in my rice milk. Now this is a rice milk powder um, mixed with two ounces of my water portion of my lye solution. I deducted two ounces from that. Then mix this in. Okay, now just gonna leave that there, set that back there. So that's good to go. Now our lie. Um I've already got my water weighed out here. It was um, a total of 18.24 ounces. I used two ounces of it in my rice milk powder. So there's actually 16.24 ounces in here. Now this white, it, this is my lye bucket. I only use it for lye. I've got three of them. Okay, so we need 6.71 ounces of lye. Now I do it this way. Um... If you don't trust yourself on going over with the lye, then please, I'll by all means, pour it in a different container. That way, if you overweigh it, you can take some out, put it back in the container. Always be very cautious with lye. Okay, 6.71. Four point seven. Five point six. What did I say I needed? Six point seven. Six point seven. Okay. Now going to put in a little bit of Tussa Silk. Just makes a good slippery bar or so. It makes it feel sticky. Now these are the hair fibers types. See like that. I've got the other kind too but I like these. They tend to dissolve better in my opinion. And it lasts a lot longer. Okay. Now you just want to stir it up so you don't feel no granules in the bottom.
And I'm going to put my butters in a different bowl. Um, because I don't know if this live will melt that or not. I don't think it will, but, you know, I'm going to put it in something different anyhow that I know will not melt. Another one of these. Let's clean my area off here a little bit. It's 99% alcohol. Now I will have some of these bars for sale on my Etsy site as well, but they will not be um, on there till four weeks from now. Today's the 16th, so about the 16th of May, February, March, I mean. Ooh, I'm getting up months ahead. Okay, and y'all clicked off. Um, let me just zoom you back in a little bit so you can see here. Okay, I'm just going to put these in here. And then I'll set this aside because i got to use it again. i still got three more soaps i got to make. A um, couple reasons why I have not put a video up in the last month is because... For one, I was very sick, um, not COVID, but me and my daughter was both sick, um, and yeah, before we got sick, uh, I went to put videos up, I had like 15 of them, I had to piece together to make like 15 videos in my computer, but I went to log in and I don't I don't know what's up with Microsoft, but it com ended up it completely wiped my computer out all my video clips my pictures of my dad my mom I lost it all so I redid it and then um, I went to get back into it and it was the same damn problem I ended up having to reset my whole computer then my internet wouldn't let me in it the computer though. So yeah, it's then I got sick, so I'm feeling better, but I just have no energy. More or less I have to force myself to come back here. I've been working on my studio, I'm almost done. I almost have it to where I want it, except for my shelves. I need to organize these shelves. Um got my packing table together, got my candle spot my resin art and stuff spot um so yeah i'm getting there y'all but anyhow <coughs> with that being said as some would say sorry y'all i have to take a drink of something my throat is like really dry okay I'm going to do the heat transfer method, yay! Um, would be my strainer. Oh my lord, clear over here. Mm. Okay, got my strainer, y'all. Surprised I knew where the hell it was. You just wipe it with alcohol. I clean everything with alcohol. Even after I wash something before I use it, I clean it with alcohol. Rubbing alcohol, that is. Okay, now. Let's strain this. There's just a little bit of silk left in it. I haven't done this method in a while, so...
a lot of times it's to smash up like it's doing now you just take this over to the sink Started yet? No. I just sat down. We got ready to play this out of color. Okay, got that done. Always rinse your stuff out, guys. Safety first, safety first. Now, this I don't wash out every time, I wash it out like once a week. That is if I'm using it. Yeah, that's a real bummer. I went to upload a couple videos for y'all and they weren't there. It really made me mad. Um, now, I've heard a couple other people on YouTube that's got channels talk about how Microsoft, they've had a problem with it too. Don't know exactly what's going on with Microsoft, but you know what? They need to fix that crap. Because, yeah, losing the pictures I lost really pissed me off, per se. So, not saying it's Microsoft's fault, but that's where my problems seem to lie. But I got it now, so... Got it so where I can bypass all that crap. Hopefully it won't happen again. No, I'm just oop, something's in there. Probably off the shea butter. You get little black pieces. Um where'd you go? There you go. Oops, just lost it again, damn it. Come on. Come on, where you at? I keep losing it, y'all. There you are. Gotcha. Ah, almost lost you. But I gotcha. Yeah, with shea butter, you get little specks of things. I hate it, but... I like the, the, oh my god, I can't think of words today. I like shea butter on the skin. Okay, I'm going to give this just a little bit of help with my blender. So, if you're on the phone, guys, watch your ears, because I don't know how to turn the volume up and down on my videos. It just helps it smaller so it helps it melt quicker. Okay, just leave that there. Now we'll add this. Got my sodium lactate. Guess I'll just go ahead and add it in here. One, two, three. About one teaspoon per pound. A quick squeeze is about a teaspoon. Most people put it in their life solution once it cools down, but I don't think it really matters. Um, well, it doesn't for me anyhow. 
Okay, let's pour this right in here. Oh, this looks so scrumptious. Scrumptious? Yeah, scrumptious. I said it. It's my daughter over there doing her diamond painting. She's addicted, she says. It that is very... I'm doing one of a cat that looks almost identical to Miss Precious. Which I think is really cool. Okay. Now when you do it this way, it tends to emulsify quicker, and that is it just incorporates together. I mean I will give it a couple hits with the stick blender, but and it is warm, mind you. I'm just going to run back here real quick and grab a smaller mold. Um, I don't see one up here because I know I'm going to need it. This is a brambleberry mold. I've had this since I first started soaking. Just gotta wipe it out real quick. See, brambleberry. need those. This can go right there. I'm done with that for a minute. How the hell? Okay. You having trouble over there, girl? Now, my plan is You move this out of my way. Very good plan. Okay. Up there, put my jugs here. Quick wipe inside. Okay, now, I have my green tea powder, I have activated charcoal, and I have bentonite clay. Now, bentonite clay is considered, or the kind that I have, is considered an Indian healing powder. And activated charcoal detoxifies, pulls things out, and green tea is just good for... That's good. Once again, it's just soap, y'all. Yeah, 
You gotta remember I got milk in this, so we'll thicken it up. Plus it's warm, so and milks usually make your batter warm all on its own. But I just don't have time right now to melt my oils and let them cool and what have you, so yeah. And you always want to stir the sides and what have you before you pour. I'm just going to do that. That. Just scraping y'all. Just a scraping. more you get out your buckets the easier they are to clean plus who wants to waste I don't nope butters and oils they are not cheap some are but yeah they're not cheap by any means Okay, y'all shut off on me again. I want to enlarge y'all here real quick. Okay, um, green tea powder. Got one and a half, or one tablespoon. Got two tablespoons of the activated charcoal. And got one and a half tablespoons of the bentonite clay. Get you all in frame here. Okay, we're gonna do this way, light to dark. What you doing, precious? Now for the fun stuff, the messy stuff. Try not to poop it. What are you doing up there? Get down. Get down. Now. Okay. I hate activated charcoal, but it is just so awesome for your skin. 
it's wonderful I'll just give these a stir around why is it harder to mix or something it's just messy soap is messy enough um yeah yeah I know that I love this green tea powder I love the color of this look at this y'all Okay, and pretty messy stuff. It's very good, very detoxifying, pulls all the poisons and what have you out of your skin. Okay, let me get my molds, or mold. What have you? Here it is. Somebody sent me three of these. I have no idea who it was. But if you're the one that sent them, please, by all means, let me know so I can say thank you. Um, I like these molds, actually. You said you want this swirled stuff? My cat me yelling at her, is it mama? Probably because you got her chair. Okay, let me get a swirl or swirl. Um, yeah, this will work. Now you're just gonna Take that off. Okay, let me just spray this and clean this real quick. Charcoal is a pain. I don't like it. It stains. It. But this, it might, you know, some of the bubbles may be grayish, but it will not stain your sink or anything. Okay. Okay, now...
actually barely staying pretty fluid. I'm impressed. Oops. Oops. Wouldn't be a soaper if I didn't make a mess. Okay, now to take this and just There you have it. A charcoal gray soap. No glitter, no fragrance, no essential oil, just all natural ingredients. Now this is just my first one of my clay series. I'm going to be doing some other clay soaps, at least three more to go with this soap. And I'm back, guys. You know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to get your head on straight. Life happens. That's just the way of life. Sucks. But hey. But this is a beautiful looking soap. Look how pretty that is. Okay, now let's fill this little puppy up here with all the extras. I use these as samples. I give away lots and lots and lots of samples, guys. Right now I'm giving away a free bar of soap per order. Does not matter what you spend, you will get a free bar of soap. How cool is that? Plus samples. I've got a buttload of them. I love samples, I love giving them away. They are awesome. Okay. I 
and if you all new here welcome please consider subscribing and give me that thumbs up and if you all already subscribed thank you for joining me it is much appreciated give me that thumbs up help me grow beat that algorithm that YouTube has on you Well, I filled this little one up perfect, which is exactly what I was wanting it to do. Okay, now, let's give this puppy a little swirl swirl. Messy, 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 messy. It's the name of the game. Just gonna make some great samples here. Now I thought about doing all my clay soaps all in one video, but being how my videos got rammed out of my computer I'm going to do them as separate videos and I'm going to try to post one each day back to back no guarantees guys but that's my plan not that my plan always goes accordingly but mm -hmm. hey mm -hmm. yeah I know something always happens in my life But I will try, no promises. But thank all of you that are still subscribed. I've lost a couple of them, but that's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I do this because I love it. I would like to get a thousand subscribers so that I could go live with y'all. And y'all can see y'all. You shut up on me again. What's up there? Scraping me containers out. What are you eating over there? I'm not. I was hoping one of my packs would be. Oh. Okay. I do my dishes up. Okay, now, okay, turn it around.
I just love that swirl. Okay, y'all, there you have it. Here's the little one. Very pretty. Looks so silky. And here is the other one. Also very, very pretty. Can't wait to see how they come out. Um, yeah. Let me clean up my mess here, and I'll bring you down for a close-up in just a moment.